Good morning. I hope you're having a great day. So this morning I'm going to start off by watering all my lavender in, watering the blue sea holly that I just planted, and then hooking up my drip to everything. They said it might rain today actually between 10 and 11, but I can't risk it. Everything's just getting too dry. So that's what I'm doing this morning. <laughs> all the lavender and all the peonies watered so i just went ahead it was kind of just relaxing so i just went ahead and watered them all in gave them a good drink so that should hold them over it's supposed to rain i don't know it's always 40 percent, but it's supposed to rain today maybe sometimes it doesn't that's why and they really really they were curling and they just looked really bad so and then all of the lavender is still green except for three plants. It looks like three plants didn't make it last time I transplanted. A few others look a little weak, but that's a lot more than like the 60 that I had to do. So sometime I will do that. I will dig up three plants and replace those dead ones. And hopefully this all starts coming in. And now I'm going to go over and water my blue sea holly and then I'm going to go see what I can harvest and today is farmer market bouquet making day and I harvested a ton yesterday so I think I'm going to just harvest what I might need and then move on. This is my daily haul. I probably could have gotten more but I'm going to let my adjuratum flower out a little bit more and I saw one sunflower that might be starting. Yay. Okay I'm thinking of weeding an area over in the perennial garden and actually putting zinnias even though they're not perennial um because i want more so i'm gonna go through and look at these and see the tags and even for myself and i thought you might enjoy it too i'm just gonna note what i like or don't like um, about each one so i know which ones i want to plant over there okay so here i have a candy mix and they have some really pretty colors in them Maybe they'd be good supporting zinnias, but they're not very big zinnias. Um, they're not like a big focal flower type. Jazzy mix on top of a weed. Let's see. Okay, now I have jazzy mix and I don't know. There are a lot of just little short ones in there. I'm not real fond of the real short ones. Um, these look like they could end up being a bigger zinnia, the Dahlia Blue Point. Um, so that's a pretty big bud on those. So those will be in contention. These are a pretty color, but they're not really what I'm looking for. Um, look at this mazurka. Those are pretty. I really like those. I like how they have... Those are just gorgeous. And then we have another smaller variety here, the Oklahoma. I do like the colors. I like that color. We'll see how they do. They kind of look like a medium sized as well. Um, the Pinka, it's got pretty big buds. Um, not my favorite looking Xenia. These I don't know yet, they haven't came up. These are like the Queen Lime series. These Senoras have really big buds on them. So they might be a really big one. So they could be in contention. This has a really, really big bud on it. This is the State Fair. And I've picked a couple State Fairs and they're huge. So definitely going to put more of those in. This was... The super giant cactus mix and they are cool they're just a little different and they're not not everybody likes the look of them they think they look like something's wrong with them but that's just how they are um zinderella definitely gonna put some zinderella and i'm really liking the way those look they're just fluffy and beautiful um i think i have enough of these the yellow flame i think zowie yellow flame maybe i had a bunch of them last year they were the first ones to get the brown spots on them and i already noticed like they already kind of 
are getting it again. And they're really gorgeous in bouquets, but I don't know how many of them I need. And then we've got the gold metal mix. So those are huge. So those are definitely in contention. And then we have the MB down there, which are the green. And the rest of them I haven't really seen yet. So if I plant more, I definitely think the State Fair mix, the Zinderella mix, um, the gold metal mixes, and possibly the Dahlia Blue Point mix, um, just to give me some bigger varieties. I do like a lot of these other ones, but I don't know how many of them I'm going to need. So we will just see as it goes on. But I think I'll start with those. And then if I have more room after I run out of seed, if I run out of seed, I'll find some others and throw it in. Okay, so this row is kind of a mess. Then I've got my Yara row, my Salvia row. That row is okay, except for that middle part. The stuff didn't come up and it's kind of weedy. And then I've got all of my Lupine, which I think I'm going to try to fill all of this in with Lupine. And at the bottom, baby's breath. So then this row, though, I don't even know what it was last year, but it's just a mess this year. I do have some of my Rebecca coming up in it. And I did put that sea holly, but I think I'm going to just take this row, pull out as many weeds as I can, and try to plant just some zinnias here. And then next year, I can figure out a better perennial to put in here. Well, I'm going to stop here because the honeybees are loving this. And I actually used this for filler in the very early season, so I don't need that much of it, but I'll leave it for now. Because the honeybees are just, they're all over it. But I got this entire row cleared. These are all my weeds along the side. I'll probably pick those up because that's a lot. And I'm going to put some zinnia seeds in. I don't have very many left. But I'll put those in. And then some Cinderella, and then work my way down. But I don't have very many left. Okay, I got it all planted with the Banera Giants Blue Dahlia Mix, the Cinderella, and the State Fair Mix. Hopefully that comes up here in a month or so, and I can cut on it before the end of season. And it'll probably be a really pretty backdrop to the flower farm, so... And I can leave the seeds for the birds this winter. So I think it'll be good. I hope it comes in. Some of my other stuff, my zinnias I saw was really spotty over there. So I might go throw some seeds in there too. Because they're not very tall yet. And maybe then I can get some more plants in the other garden. <laughs> Yay! So I got that row of zinnias planted. I know they take 30 to 60 days until they flower. So... No matter what, I would have them all of September, and I could even have them sooner than that. So that's why I went ahead and put them in. And I'm sick of pulling weeds, and maybe they'll just drown out the weeds. <laughs> I didn't get them over in that field. It started to sprinkle, so I went ahead and came back up to the house and brought all my stuff with me. And then it's not really raining, though. So I might just weed. I haven't really decided. I need more. I would like more Cosmos, too. So... I might end up planting Cosmos. They say that deer like the Cosmos, but I see fields of Cosmos in Iowa with no fences around them. So maybe I'll test the waters. I don't know. Maybe there's enough here that they don't go after the Cosmos. But anyway, I also need to make my market bouquets today. So, yay. There's a little monk monk. Hi, monk monk. Monkey monk. Are you going to take off running if I walk towards you? You're a pretty one. Hi, Mickey Mink. Hi, Mickey Mink. <laughs> Hi, Mickey Mink. You're a fat little monk. Hey, it's raining. It's going to water in the zinnias for me. Bonus. Farmer market bouquets are done. If you want to leave in the comments which one's your favorite, I'm going to name them one through five.
Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five.